Governor Abbott is expected to announce some changes Monday when it comes to opening up Texas businesses. Currently, there are more than 21,000 cases of COVID-19 in the state and more than 540 people have died from it. Joining us via Zoom to talk more about reopening the Texas economy and other COVID-19 topics is the Speaker of the Texas House, Dennis Bonn. And Mr. Speaker, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. First of all, what do you think the governor is going to announce on Monday? Well, what the governor is going to announce on Monday is his clear strategy to get as many Texas businesses open uh, with clear standards so that we can do it with safety to people's health and well-being in defeating COVID-19. The goal the governor has and the as strike force has is to get Texas business open with a safety measures in place to ensure that we do not spread COVID-19. Can you give us some examples of what kind of businesses will probably open quickly? What kind of businesses will take a little bit longer to open up? Well, that's being decided in the coming days uh, with the strike force. They're working day and night to gather data and science and talk to the medical experts about who is able to open safely sooner than later. And then what measures can be taken to ensure that they are able to safely open, serve customers and serve the economy. Uh, without spreading COVID-19. You know, and that'll all be announced Monday. Okay, talking about the standards. I mean, so the primary standard is, is the business going to be safe? Or are you looking at other standards like businesses with a lot of employees who are really hurting? Well, it, candidly, the standard is about not spreading COVID-19, being safe. We don't want businesses to continue to hurt. We want these businesses back in the business of, of serving people and making money, having profits. Uh, employing people. And so the round of it is the standards um, will be things like needing to make sure we continue social distancing, uh, looking at things like reminding the CDC guidelines. We've got to continue to wash our hands. Those are the things that have to be kept in mind. There are other more strategic things that are being discussed and worked on. Uh, but the goal is to get all Texas businesses open. That won't happen Monday, but the goal is to get as many open as soon as we possibly can in the safest manner, not only so that they get open, but so that we can keep them open and keep rolling more businesses into being open in Texas uh, so that we can defeat COVID-19 and get our economy back to the envy of the world that okay. it always has been. Sure. And going along with that, obviously, what's the level of concern about opening things up too soon, maybe perhaps waiting longer for testing? Well, we're working on getting additional testing into the state. One of the challenges we've had is that we've done well. Texas has done the best of any large state in the nation on flattening the curve. And because of that success, um, testing has been delivered into hotspot uh, states and communities um, around the nation. And so our own success has somewhat slowed the ability for, to get, for us to get support of testing into Texas. We are, with that said, having success in growing the number of tests available every single day. We wanna do more testing. With that said, there are standards we can put in place considering the CDC guidelines and safely open businesses, get this economy back to where we are no longer having people not able to make a living. Okay, final question real quickly. You know, real concern with COVID-19 cases, nursing homes and rehab centers in the state, at the state <clears throat> level, is there any kind of a plan to try and mitigate that particular problem? Absolutely, we're working very closely uh, with state health services, are working very, very closely with our nursing homes to help them avoid having the outbreaks that we have seen happen around the state in some nursing homes. Of course, we're responding to those that have had those challenges. Those are our most vulnerable populations, and we must be extraordinarily careful. And the best measure of all is to avoid ever having the outbreak in those homes. And of course, the state is assisting um, in every way possible to avoid that from happening and then supporting them and recovering uh, when they do have the unfortunate outbreak. All righty. Okay. Well, Speaker of the Texas House, Dennis Bonin, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Stay safe. Okay.